Welcome to Symantec's video tutorials for SSL certificates. Today we will be looking at installing an SSL certificate on Microsoft Server 2008's IIS 7. Before we get started, let's prepare the server for proper chaining and installation of the SSL certificate. We'll open an MMC console to begin. Click the Start button, then click Run. Now type MMC for the Microsoft Manager and console and click OK. From the MMC console, let's create a certificate snap-in. First click File, then click Add Remove Snap-in. Select certificates from the left menu, then click Add. Select Computer Account, then click Next. Keep Local Computer selected, now click Finish. Notice that Certificates has been added to the right menu now. Click OK at the bottom to continue. In the MMC console, you will see Certificates has been added to the console root. Drill down the tree from Certificates, Trusted Root Certification Authorities, and then select the Certificates folder. Here we'll be disabling one of the root certificates. This will ensure proper chaining to both the new and old legacy root for the SSL certificate that we'll install later in this video. If you find your list to be very long, you'll find it easier to reorganize by expiration date, then locate the VeriSign Class 3 Public Primary Certification Authority G5 certificate that expires on July 16th, 2036. Let's double click on it, then view the serial number under the details tab to ensure we have the correct certificate. It should have this exact serial number. Once confirmed, click OK at the bottom to close this window. Back in the MMC console for the same certificate, let's right click on it and select Properties. Choose Disable All Purposes for the certificate. Now click Apply first before you click the OK button. Excellent! We are now ready to install the SSL certificate. If you have yet to download the certificate to your server, let's go ahead and do that now. You may do so by either obtaining the certificate from your approval email or downloading it from your Symantec Trust Center account. For this example, we'll download it from the account. Let's start from a web browser and go to symantec.com forward slash SSL. Off to the menu on the right, click on My Account Sign In. Then click on Account Sign-In under the SSL Certificates Symantec Trust Center category. Log in using your username and password for your account. Once inside your account, select the certificate you wish to download. Then ensure the correct certificate is selected by verifying either the order number or the expiration date within the order summary tab below. When confirmed, click on Download Certificate. Now click on the Download Certificate button under Manual Installation. Make sure that PKCS7 is selected for the format. Then you can either select the entire text and right-click Copy, or you can click the Copy button to the right and the SSL certificate will copy directly to your clipboard. Now let's open a notepad document to save the SSL certificate. Please note that only notepads should be used as other document editors like Microsoft Word may corrupt the certificate's format. Let's go ahead and paste the certificate in notepad now and save the file. I'll save this one to my desktop and save it with a .p7b extension. Now click Save. Now that we have the issued certificate on the server, let's start the installation by opening the IIS console. Click the Start button, select Administrative Tools, and click Internet Information Services IIS Manager. Select your server on the left under Connections, 
Double click server certificates under the IS category here in the middle. Now click complete certificate request on the right. First click the dot 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 button to the right of the file name. Then locate the certificate you downloaded. You may have to change the file type to the all file types option in order to view the certificate in this window. When the certificate has been found, click open. IIS 7 requires you give the certificate a friendly name. This is used for a quick identification of the certificate once installed on the server. Click OK. Oops, we have an error. Not to worry though, this is a known issue with Microsoft and a common error that is likely to occur. For additional information to this error message, please visit our knowledge base article at the following web address. Let's continue and click the OK button on the error message and click cancel for the wizard to close. In most cases, even though the error message occurs, the SSL certificate still installs correctly to the server. To see if it did, click the refresh button at the top right of the IS window. Here in the server certificates pane, the SSL certificate should appear once refreshed. Let's confirm that this certificate is usable. Double click the SSL certificate, and underneath the validity dates, you should see the message we have a private key that corresponds to this certificate. As the private key is essential for SSL encryption, we now know that we can go ahead and use this SSL certificate for use on the server. Click the OK button. Finally, let's bind the certificate now to the intended website. Under Connections, off to the left, drill down the Sites folder and select the website the SSL certificate is intended for. My example only has the default website, so I'll select it now. Off to the right, click on the bindings link under the actions column. Depending whether you have an existing HTTPS type or not, you will either want to add the HTTPS type or select the HTTPS type and click edit. Note that in either case, the next step is practically the same. Because I don't have an HTTPS type yet, I'll go ahead and click on add for this example. Here I'll have to add an HTTPS type by dropping down the menu under Type. If you chose Edit in the previous step, the HTTPS type should be selected by default. Now I can select the SSL certificate from the drop-down menu. Notice that the friendly name you specified during the installation wizard is being shown here. Click the View button first to verify you are selecting the correct certificate for this website. Confirm the certificate's information once again here. Once verified, click the OK button to complete the process and IIS will bind the SSL certificate to the website. That's it! Thanks for watching our tutorial videos. For further support and troubleshooting, please visit our SSL support pages at symantec.com forward slash help.